We've been following the breaking news out of the United Kingdom where shots have been fired. The British Parliament in London is on lockdown. Police are on the scene. We're hearing half a dozen to a dozen people injured. We're still gathering details. The situation is very, very fluid. Uh, but there you can see a live shot coming to us, Anne Marie, direct from uh, the United Kingdom. And what we do know is that apparently there is a policeman that was actually stabbed inside the halls of Parliament. We're right. still trying to get details on that. And there are several others that are injured um, outside uh, on the streets uh, very close to Parliament. Now, that information about the police officer being injured, that actually came from the leader of Britain's House of Commons. So it's not coming from the police. It still needs to be verified. Uh, but that's just some information that we're learning. What police have told us is that uh, they were called to the area of uh, West Westminster Bridge, which is near Parliament, uh, over a firearms incident. People uh, reported hearing loud bangs that sounded very much like a, a gun being fired. And it appears as if these are early reports now, still waiting for confirmation that someone may have been able to get into the Parliament building, which would be rather surprising to be able to enter the Parliament building with a weapon, because as you can imagine, this is the sort of building that would have a high level of security. Um, our own uh, correspondent who's in London, Jonathan Vigliotti, was talking a little bit earlier on CBS, and he said, you know, typically it's the kind of security that you go through when you go through an airport, where you have to take your belt off and you have to take your empty your pockets. And so it would be very surprising for somebody to be able to enter the building with a weapon. In terms of that police officer, we don't know exactly how how far into the building he was uh, he was when he was attacked, according at least to the leader of Britain's House of Commons. We do know that uh, the parliament right now is on lockdown. In fact, uh, no one can get in or out. Uh, there you see some pictures showing you uh, uh, the scenes there in London. Uh, no word yet, no official word on the Prime Minister Theresa May, although I am seeing on Twitter and social media from members of parliament that uh, the Prime Minister has been whisked away um, and is no longer in parliament. But we need to confirm that. Uh, there again, you see pictures, live pictures uh, coming to us from a helicopter. Uh, and there apparently uh, the injured on the ground there, there has been a helicopter that has landed very close to some of the injured uh, to help bring them out of the area. Um, again, the news is still very, very fluid right now. We do know that, as Amory pointed out, that the police responded to what they were calling a firearms incident right outside of Parliament. We also have reports of a police officer that was stabbed within the halls of Parliament. No further details on that. We're still trying to get that. We have reporters on the ground. There you see that helicopter that I mentioned earlier. Which was uh, which landed on the ground, not very very far from Parliament itself, uh, to help with those that have been injured. We don't have an exact number yet of the number of people, but we are being told it is a dozen. Uh, and as these numbers change throughout the course of, of live reporting, uh, that may decrease or. Uh, sadly may increase. All right, we want to bring in uh, Tom uh, McTague. He's the chief UK correspondent for Politico EU, and he joins us now on the phone um, from London. Uh, Tom, uh, what can you tell us? What do you know so far about what's uh, been happening? Uh, well, unfortunately, I actually watched the incident out of the window where I work in Parliament um, uh, not very long ago, 20 minutes or so ago. Uh, we heard a, a large bang, uh, which seemed to come from just outside the gates of Parliament uh, or near to Westminster Bridge. Uh, we then went to the window and saw um, crowds of people running away from the gates, the main gates into Parliament. Um, we then saw a man sort of run in and appear to attack a policeman. Uh, well, he looked from, from the window where, where I was watching to stab the policeman repeatedly. Uh, he then, um, I was slightly confused. They seemed to run on from that point. Uh, police officers screamed at him to stop uh, and then shot him um, a number of times uh, and he went down. Um, I'm looking out my window now and there are um, two ambulances inside Parliament, uh, inside the building about 20 metres in with, a, um, with a, a helicopter ambulance on Parliament Square. And explain to us, as we look at some pictures, Tom, right now outside of Parliament, we can see the car, we can see what appears to be somebody injured on the ground next to the car. What kind of security measures are in place around Parliament? How easy or how difficult it is for you, yourself, as a reporter, to get inside and out of the area? Uh, there, is, it, there is quite a lot of security. So at the main gates, the policemen there are not armed. Um, poli most policemen in, in the UK are not armed. Uh, but just inside the gates, there is a heavy, heavy presence of armed policemen. Um, 
who who protect um, in case an intruder gets past the initial uh, the initial gates. Uh, so that's what happened here. Unfortunately, he, uh, the attacker appears to have uh, um, stabbed a policeman at the gates and got past him. Uh, but at that point, uh, he met um, a number of policemen with, with, with guns. And are you hearing, Tom, at all details on the whereabouts of the prime minister? I know that uh, parliament is on lockdown right now. What can you tell us about Theresa May? Uh, so I, I'm afraid I, I can't say I can't say too much. She was in Parliament at uh, between 12 and uh, 12, you know, 12:30, 12 12:45 12 uh, for Prime Minister's questions. Um, all I know at the moment is when this five five or ten minutes after the attack, uh, police came into my room and every other room here and said it, you know, put us into lockdown, told, told us to get away from the windows because uh, there were shots being fired. Um, so I, I don't know what the procedure is for Theresa May, but um, I, I know that there are they, they have plans in place for incidents such as this, and there are ways to get her out of the building um, that are not through the main gates. Her, her, her um, accommodation in 10 Downing Street is only 100 metres or so away. Well, we could actually just tell you we just received uh, a report that uh, the prime minister is safe after the attack on parliament. That's coming to us from a spokesperson. Um, and uh, uh, she, the spokesperson has declined to say where she is at the moment. But uh, the news out of the, uh, the U.K. is that uh, British Prime Minister Theresa May is safe after the assailant um, uh, tried to attack that, uh, to try to attack parliament. So as you look out the window now, you mentioned two ambulances. Um, any idea, because we've had, you know, we've received different sort of uh, reports. Any idea if there are many people, uh, other than two people, other people injured at all? I, where my window is, I, I look out directly onto, um, onto the, the, the area where the attack on the policeman took place. But to my right, where I can't see, is Westminster Bridge, where I am getting reports that um, a lot of people have been hurt. Uh, and that would tally with what I heard, which is the, the, the first bang that alerted me to go to the window. Uh, we heard a large bang. It seemed to come from Westminster Bridge. Then we saw people screaming and running away. So that would seem to suggest that there was an initial attack before the assailant ran through the gates of the policeman. Uh, but at, at the moment, there are perhaps... Uh, two or three ambulances, a fire crew, and lots of police guarding Westminster Bridge and keeping people from it. Tom, you mentioned uh, that the police officers in the front of Parliament are not armed. It's something that um, perhaps the people here in the U.S. may not be aware of. And in fact, uh, gun violence may not be, or people with guns, is not something as common as uh, you might find here. Uh, so hearing gunshots, uh, that must have been something that really stood out in the middle of the day. Oh, it's extraordinary uh, for, for us to hear. You know, we don't, policemen uh, across the UK are not armed. We don't have a, uh, you know, a, a large gun crime problem. Um, I've never heard gunshots in my life. Um, so to, to hear the, the sort of how, um, how loud um, it was when it, when it happened was, you know, was quite shocking. And it was noticeable to everybody here, you know, that as soon as that happened, you knew it wasn't a... Uh, this wasn't a drill, um, and then it was the panic uh, of the of the people outside and of the policemen. The clear panic um, and how quickly they were reacting, throwing a medical bag to to each other to to perform um, what I assume is uh, an attempt. All right, to, uh, Tom, Tom McTay of Politico. Tom, thank you so much for taking some time to speak with us. I know you are still there in Parliament. Stay safe. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Thank you very much. Thank you.